So, I have been wanting, a lot of people have been wanting Nomad Sculpt on PC, but they're not planning, I guess, to bring it to PC. So, I was wondering, you know, if I installed Windows 11 on my Asus uh, laptop here, foldable, two-in-one, whatever they call them. And uh, yeah, it runs perfect. Uh, installed Android, uh, Windows subsystem, and, and side-loaded Google Play, and it just runs so good. I went into the settings of, of uh, uh, the subsystem and put it to like eight gigs of RAM and forced it to take advantage of my NVIDIA card instead of my Intel card. Anyways, um, yeah, so, it just it's, feels like it does just on iPad so smooth and uh, man, it's, it's awesome but now I get this bigger screen and get to use it on Windows uh, on my computer so um, I tested a lot of other different apps sketchbook and sculpt plus and they all run perfectly as well and the best part this Asus uses like Wacom technology. So if I, uh, in settings, if I go to gestures and say turn off sculpting with a finger, and then at the bottom turn on palm rejection, yeah, it works just like it would on an iPad. Only sculpts with the pen, finger rotate. Same thing with Sketchbook and Art Rage and other programs where you can disable uh, finger touch but still have pinch and zoom and item selection and all that good stuff. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, so uh, I would give it a try. And if you have a, if you don't have a touchscreen device, uh, then just use like a Wacom tab, you know, and you can do it like classic digital artists generally do instead of on screen but this is awesome I was trying to get me an iPad and I'm sure it probably ultimately an iPad is going to run it better better ultimately but yeah this works I like it let's see it's so good <laughs> nice. Anyways, if you need help setting it up, just comment in below and I'll try to help you as best I can.